Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a Read Harder challenge update as well as a December TBR-ish video. So in case you aren't aware, the Read Harder challenge is this book challenge that Book Riot puts together every year. I always participate. I never complete it, but I always have a really fun time trying and there always comes a point, maybe like three quarters of the way through the year where I start to really lose steam and I just stop paying attention to the Read Harder challenge for a while and then it gets to like the end of the year and I'm like, ha oh, man, I was so close and I could have done it. And the same thing basically happened this year around like August or September, I basically stopped reading books for the Read Harder Challenge despite the fact that I like own books that work for the Read Harder Challenge and stuff. So I was like updating my giant book spreadsheet and I read a book this month that fit the Read Harder Challenge and so I was like filling that in and I realized that I have eight challenges left to complete. So I decided to figure out exactly what I'm going to read for each of those challenges and I'm going to try my best to complete the Read Harder Challenge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through all of the challenges that I have completed so far and I will briefly mention the book that I read to complete the challenge and then what I will do is I will go through the challenges that I have left and then I will briefly mention the book that I'm going to read to complete that challenge or I'm going to try to read to complete the challenge because who knows what's actually going to happen. So for read a book about sports I read you Will Know Me by Megan Abbott. For Read a Debut Novel, I read Iron Cast. For Read a Book About Books, I read The Clothing of Books by Jhumpa Lahiri. For Read a Book Set in Central or South America or written by a Central or South American author, I read Fever Dream by Samantha Schweblin. For Read a Book by an Immigrant or that features an immigration narrative, I read Panchinko by Min Jin Lee. For Read an All Ages Comic, I read Goldie Vance. For Read a Book published between 1900 and 1950. I read Cannery Row by John Steinbeck. For read a book set, I think it's 100 miles from your location. My current spreadsheet seems to be missing the details of this task. Uh, but that one I read Negro Land by Margot Jefferson because it takes place in Chicago. For read a book that set more than 5,000 miles from your location, I read Big Little Lies, which takes place in Australia. For read a fantasy novel, I read Fate of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. For read a nonfiction book about technology, I read The Brain Defense. For read a book about war, I read American War by Omar al Akkad. For read a book that has been banned or frequently challenged in your country, I read Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison. For read a superhero comic with a female lead, I read Batgirl Volume 3. For read a short story collection written by a woman, I read Whatever Happened to Interracial Love. And then for read a book where all of the points of view are from characters of color. I read American Street. Okay, so those are all of the books that I've read that complete various challenges. So now I'm going to go over the challenges that I haven't completed yet and what books I plan on reading for them. A lot of these are from the library because that's how the Read Harder Challenge goes. So the first one is to read a travel memoir and originally I was going to read French Milk by Lucy Nisley but then I read realized I haven't read Displacement by Lucy Nisley. At least I don't think I have. It's not marked on my Goodreads so I'm assuming it I haven't yet. I thought I did. But anyways, this is a travel log and it works. <laughs> The next one is to read a YA or middle grade book from an author who identifies as LGBTQ+. And for this one, I'm reading Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe because this is a YA book I've been wanting to read forever and I got the audiobook of it since it is narrated by Lin-Manuel Miranda. So like, what better way to consume that book? Then for read a classic by an author of color, I'm going to read Nella Larson. There's Passing Quick Stand as well as short stories in here. I'm going to try to read whatever the first one is for sure, but I kind of want to just read this entire book because it's not very long. I could do it. The next one is to read a book about a character of color who goes on a spiritual journey. And for this one, I went through the Read Harder Challenge Goodreads group to figure out some book recommendations because it's kind of hard to tell if a character goes on a spiritual journey in, over the course of a book <laughs> until like you read it. So one I saw recommended on the Goodreads group that I've been wanting to read anyways is Who Fears Death by Nandi Akor for. Next is to read an LGBTQ plus romance and for that one I'm doing The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Uh, this is a retelling based on Greek mythology. I know that there's an LGBTQ plus romance involved in here because it's tagged that way on Goodreads so I'm going with it because I've been wanting to read this one too anyways. Then for read a book published by a micro press I'm going with Blood of the Dawn by Claudia Salzar Jimenez. This was 
was translated from the Spanish by Elizabeth Breyer. This is a book that sort of covers a couple of different women while there was this uprising happening happening in Peru. I believe that this is published by a micropress. This is a challenge I had a hard time with because it's hard to figure out what exactly is a micropress. But I'm saying it's a micropress because on their website they only have like five staff members. So that's good enough for me, honestly. <laughs> Next I have a uh, read a collection of poetry in translation that's not about love. And for that one I picked up I Am the Beggar of the World translated by Eliza Griswold. This is a collection of poetry from a bunch of different Afghani women. Um, I've heard good things about it on the Goodreads group so I'm going to check it out. I don't read poetry ever so we'll see how this goes. And then the final challenge I have to complete is to reread a book and I'm just gonna pick something off my shelves when I get around to it. It might be like one of the last books I read of the year because once I do like my best of video I won't want to read new things anymore so I might just take the last like week or two to figure out what I'm going to reread um, and just do that. So yeah that's it. Those are the books I'm going to be trying very very hard to read this December. Let me know down in the comments below if you are participating in the Read Harder Challenge how it has been going for you if you are on track to finish or not. I think this will be a really interesting slash fun challenge. I don't really make TBRs for myself very often but I kind of like the idea of actually completing the Read Harder Challenge this year. So yeah wish me luck. So yeah that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.